in that particular scenario, when extended family are honoring adoption related needs, they're not sending the birthday card. They're not pressuring the child to celebrate the birthday. If we could wave the Harry Potter magic wand and whatever, Experiamus, you wake up tomorrow and that's just the matrix into their mind and heart, what would that one truth be about adoption and race that you would grant to them? What would that be? I'll give you 10 seconds to think about that and even write it down or put it in your phone if you want to. So now the reflection is, you know, okay, the new year's coming up. Gosh, I want to get fit in 2023. Okay, great. So in counseling terms, mental health, I would sit down with the client and we say, all right, what does that mean to you? That's an amazing idea, abstract, it's a vision, we can walk toward it, but what are you doing tomorrow when you're fit? Or when you're fit, what is it that you're doing? Oh, I'm like, I'm running two miles a day. Okay, there we go. So after the new year, I wanna run two miles a day. Now we've got something, we can see it. I wanna drink more water. Okay, how much more water? I wanna drink whatever, I don't know how much water you're supposed to drink. Eight glasses a day, okay. So you wanna run two miles a day, you wanna eat an apple for lunch instead of a piece of pizza, and you wanna drink eight glasses of water a day. That's what you wanna do for the new year. So let's track that. When your extended family member, the one that you chose just now, when your extended family member is doing the thing that you just wrote down, or when they have processed and embraced the truth that you just wrote down, what is it that they're doing that they're not doing right now today, this season? Or what is it that they're not doing that they've continued to do? You know, the common one, they're not making jokes about race. And that seems super obvious, but you know, that would be one. So the conversation is between adoptive parents and their parents now. Hey, you know, just for this year, at least, we just need to pass on this, okay? Helping uh, grandpa and grandma understand there's some loss there's some grieving going on, perhaps. There's some curiosity, some identity exploration going on. And he needs some space right now. He needs to be able to have some choice, some agency, some autonomy over this really important day slash anniversary slash meaning of his life. Can you honor that, please? Okay, okay. Grumble, but okay. Great. Okay, so in that particular scenario, when extended family are honoring adoption related needs, they're not sending the birthday card. They're not pressuring the child to celebrate the birthday. So we're just trying to figure out what would that, what would that look like. We also want to get, that's a superficial thing. That's just a surface level behavior modification. It's not um, an automatic thought process. It's not a heart change. It, it's not a root. And for some families, that's okay. You can believe whatever you want to believe. Just don't send that darn birthday card, okay? I don't care why you didn't send it, but if, as long as you don't. So we're gonna get to that. Now the framework that I'm talking about is pretty simple. It's just kind of things that you all already know, but we wanna um, dial this in for adoption here. 